When preparing and taking the scan for the planning of an implant case, the key to success is the accuracy of the information you collect. For instance, in preparing for a partially edentulous case, you'll need two things, a stone model and a bite index. If you have a wax up of the case, you can send it as well. It will facilitate an aesthetic planning of the implants and abutments. Let's start with the stone model and the wax up. The stone model provides information about the remaining teeth and soft tissue. It's used to design an accurate Simplant guide. The wax up provides information about the crowns that need to be restored. The Simplant technician will integrate both stone model and wax up into the planning file. As already mentioned, the wax up is optional, but it facilitates an aesthetic planning of implants and abutments. There are two ways to provide Simplant with the data from these items. Either your dental laboratory makes an optical scan of the plaster model and wax up, and then you upload these files to mysimplant.com. Alternatively, you can package them up and ship them via a postal service. If you choose this option, check the box in mysimplant.com. You can give your dental laboratory more details for the preparation of the stone model and the wax up via mysimplant.com. There are detailed instructions available and they're easy to share. Don't forget the bite index. You definitely need to use one to separate and stabilise the patient's jaws during scanning. The thickness of the bite index should be between 3 and 5 millimetres. It also needs to be radiolucent. Now that you've made the bite index, you can take the scan. Don't forget to scan the patient with the bite index. The complete upper or lower jaw, including the bite index, should be in the field of view. If you need more information on the scan settings, there's a small overview in mysimplant.com that you can use or send to your radiologist. As with the stone model and wax up, there are two ways to send the scan data to Simplant. Either upload the scan files to mysimplant.com or, if you prefer, send them by postal service. If you choose this option, check the box in mysimplant.com. So, that's it. You now know how to prepare and take a scan for a partially edentulous case. But don't forget, throughout the process, the key to success is the accuracy of the information you collect.